Oh, well, so many jobs in the future are going high tech, which is why schools and students are STEM focused. Well, a retired school bus is helping Seminole County students embrace physics concepts. And as Julie Broughton shows us, the physics bus debuted last week at Hamilton Elementary and is getting results in our schools. So this is basically a, a, a speed experiment where the kids have to, have to calculate speed. On board this 2001 bus, the students will be learning about uh, calculating speed, um, levers, and pendulums. It's my classroom. Workbenches with drawers and storage spaces line the walls of the physics bus. More than 100 experiments are in each box, ready to visit Seminole County Elementary Schools, introducing concepts most students don't learn until middle or high school. The fact that we're starting them at an early age uh, allows middle school teachers to get a little more in-depth instead of having to start from scratch, so to speak. So um, this is going to give the kids a great foundation for, for middle and high school. The bus sponsored in part by Fazurka. Founder Anatoly Glushenko says he came to the U.S. 10 years ago and created the nation's first physics curriculum for a middle school shortly after. We need to explain students, elementary students, that this is what is waiting for you when you come to middle school. As they can figure out how much effort it takes to move that weight. Parents touring the bus like what they see. My daughter has the opportunity to do things that I never did and it's, it's amazing. It's definitely important to start them early and get them involved in it so it's not as scary for them as they get older. Seminole County gave me the bus, so I'm going to go do my thing in, in these schools and, and make a difference. Very neat. That was Julie Broughton reporting. Now, this bus was donated, renovated rather, thanks to grants and funding donors, including Dr. Tina Calderon, Disney, FISI RA, and the Foundation for Seminole County Public Schools. But anytime you have those things that get them more hands on, mm -hmm. it always, you know, activates a, a different part of the brain and how they learn as well. Doesn't it look like a great photo op, too? It does. You know the kids are like, let's take a let's selfie. Take, yeah, let's take a picture. <laughs> and it's interesting because it was physics in school that made my brain click when it came to, like, math, going, oh, I could see where things, you know, all come, come together. together. Yeah. yeah.